Hey, hey, hey. hey what's up? What's How up? How you doing? Good to see everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, Let's right. Get this song on. Okay. It's just waiting for y'all to come in. Yeah wait, yeah, wait for Brent to come on. We can oh, start a Brent new song. is here already. Okay, so let's uh, let's go here. Hey, you guys, remember that you can watch us on YouTube under my name, Vicky Beth La Tayad. So please don't forget to visit us there. Yeah. Hey! What's up? Can y'all hear me? Oh, what in the house? Can y'all hear me? Come on, bro. Come on, bring it. <laughs> How you doing? Man, I'm good. Good you to be alive. I'm, but it's best I'm, to live. You know I'm looking different than when you saw me this morning. I know that. You was a diva this morning. What are you talking about? Please. Do you know who you are? Yeah, you know. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Oh, Whoa. Come on. Woo! That woke me up. Don't wait till midnight. Sorry about that. That was a little loud for you. Until. That's my favorite song ever. Outside oh, of man. That's my favorite song ever. I appreciate that. I, so that's the greatest song ever. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> oh. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, listen. I'm using my sexy voice right there. Yeah, I see. I see. Right, right. I see. Oh, my goodness. Am I you listen we have got none other than the incredible brent jones i call Amen. him the barrier breaker baby oh Why? wow thank he, you guys he does not get the kudos he should get for the things he has done oh, for wow. example i think i say he's the inventor wow. of the urban choir sound so kirk franklin um Jay, was there all these people that do this? James right. James Fortune, this urban, yeah, sound, and they speak on it. That right. started with Brent Jones people. Oh wow! Thank you. Wow. Wow. Well, am I telling the truth? You telling the truth? Okay, you telling I, the truth. I just want to make sure. I ain't <laughs> um, so he is the one I think that invented that style, and of course, you heard a little bit of "Don't Wait Till Midnight," oh, yeah, I which that. still I love all your other songs. What is that one? Get up and tell somebody yeah, or yeah. Wait, uh, uh, open your mouth and say something. Yeah, open your mouth and say something. Now, but see, I was confused because I have a song called Get Up on the oh, Don't yeah, Wait for no, Midnight no, album, too. No, so I, I, didn't, I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah, that, yeah. You open, know. Your, open your mouth and say something. Open, open your, your mouth. mouth. Open your mouth. I like sir Claude, God yeah. bless you, sir. I, I, I've heard you've been a little under the weather, and I saw your video yesterday. Bit. And I just want to make sure the boo boo is all, all taken care of. You good? The boo boo. This is the boo boo. Baby. Is it taken care of? Oh, no, no, it's, it's it's got its own place, and you oh, know okay. we own that for a while. <laughs> okay, okay, right, right, right. <laughs> Mercy, help us all, okay? <laughs> and look, at, I saw y'all dropping yeah, it like it was hot too. See the parking lot, though. What'd you say? I saw y'all dropping it like it was hot and helping each other up. That made my entire month. <laughs> baby, let me tell you about that. Beyonce <laughs> I said there is no reason for you guys that don't know. Look on the reels. We're doing, uh, Clyde and I are doing the Beyonce challenge. Right. You know, <laughs> listen, there's no use faking it. And right. Not like we could get down and get up like that. Right. <laughs> well, you know, on TP Mob, in TP Mob, you have to be able to drop it like it's not. You have to be able to drop it. Well, guess what? <laughs> I guess I couldn't have been in TP Mob. That was back in the day, man. That's yeah, I could do it a while ago, but I could not believe how hard that thing was to do. Right. <laughs> Welcome got mad and oh. said, you're not supposed to hold on to anything. <laughs> but Miss it's all about yoga now. I you mean, got who's it. making up the rules? Uh, what did you say, Sir Clyde? I said, who's making the rules up, man? Right. right. To making those up. Right. But, you know you've always broken the rules. Come on now. <laughs> Come I on. I hope we break the rules on that one, okay? Oh, right. <laughs> it Thank was you so much. It was fun doing. It was fun. <laughs> but let's get on to you, darling. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. So, we got to start from the beginning. You okay. were actually, were you born and raised in L.A.? 
Yes, I was born in Pasadena, really? kind of oh. raised in some of the foothill areas like Claremont and Upland, and then migrated over to Orange County when I was a young, young oh, uh, middle school. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. so did you have brothers and sisters, or were you an only? I'm only child. My oh. parents could not deal with nobody else. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. This is a question we ask a lot. Honey, I still got this hair straight, so I'm switching it around what's it's left. It's, it's, it's all good. It's I'm going to have Shelly come in and make sure it's good. You yeah. said it's going, right, it's going on. But were you one of these children that started playing music early? Tell me how this happened. Cause yes, I yes. Um, sitting in a church service, seven years old, the guy was up there doing this and it, and everything he did with his hands, the choir did with their voices. And I thought that was the, the, the best thing in the world. I said, oh my God, I want to do that for the rest of my life. So after church, I remember looking at my parents and said, I want to learn how to play the piano. And then I want to, you know, be a part of this whole choir directing thing. Cause I just, it just, it was powerful to me. It was just like, you know, he had so much control over it. And so it was a little AME church in Pasadena where I was born in. And um, he came, my parents had the piano in my family room when I came home from school on Friday night. And the, I started taking private lessons and all first five, six years of my career, all I did was classical. All I did was classical, yeah, so I could okay. read and you know, all those things. And so then my first gospel song that I ever played was um, Walter Hawkins, uh, never alone. You remember oh, never alone? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Man. You know, I'm from the Bay Area, so. Oh, are you already yeah. know. Uh, and uh, the lady uh, named Freddie would sing it, and they did it yes. in, in, in D flat. That's yep. I don't know what flat uh -oh, it was in, but. Uh -oh. Okay, go ahead and play it. I was going to play it for you, but. Right, right, right. Uh, go ahead. I, I don't mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. My piano ain't warmed up yet. No, no. Okay. Oh. I, 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 Those were my yeah, first yeah. chords. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was you uh, playing? Huh? Yeah, he was just playing it, honey. Oh, oh, oh Claude is a little. Yeah, that's yeah. all right, honey. Just, oh, yeah, yeah. just yeah. don't open it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we well, you, know, well, you, you went over to the piano to play something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought you were playing that's like that's I, I said. I thought you were playing like I play. No, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, that yeah. Was, Oh, oh, there you got circle of fifths. There you is. All right, right. <laughs> that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Because we have a theory. We have a grandson uh -huh. who's four years old, mm -hmm. and he, at three, he started playing the piano softly and doing all this with his head and stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> he wasn't slamming on it. He was all emoting and right. playing things. So we put him in uh, piano lessons. He had his first recital on Sunday. <laughs> How's he doing? How's he doing? Does he like it still? Oh, he loves it. He yeah, lives he for it. He, he, he reads music. Good. Uh, That's so good. So we're just seeing how it's going to go. But he's also playing the drums. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Just so expose him to everything. Expose yes. him to everything. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right. So I, that's my theory that if you want to have a child, in most cases, a person that plays, mm -hmm. you need to get them started young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I, get. I started at six and a half, almost seven. So, yeah, definitely. What made you decide then to urbanize faith based? The way well, I was in church every Sunday. I was a young kid that could play for everybody. So, I, you know, I, I played a lot in church. But then even as a young kid, I noticed, you know, there are people who don't go to church um, and everybody's really attracted to hip hop and R&B and pop. I said, there must be a way that we can get our music that I thought was the best music in the world <laughs> to the masses, you know, Absolutely. to the masses. And so um, back in 1991, I was like, there's got to be something that we can do. So I just took a chance and I said, uh, this is before American Idol and all those forms. I said, let's just do an audition. Um, I don't want just good singers. I don't want just church people. I don't want, right. uh, you know, just that I, I want people who can perform, get on the stage and, and, and take my take my breath away, you know, with their performance. And so that was the EP Mob uh, strategy, you know. And so, of course, you, you got to be able to sing and pitch and all that. But I figure I can curtail all that and help all that, you know. But right, right. Um, TP Mob was a performance group. You know, and at first I would hear rumors that, oh, they're talented, but they're not anointed. I mean, all these things were coming up and I was like, wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but we were young, 
uh, yes. millennials, if you will, <laughs> that were yes. trying to just get a message out in Los Angeles where, you know, there is very liberal, you know, right. there were boundaries. We just felt creatively, we can just do, you know, what we felt. And so the music wasn't contrived. It was just came from a place of listening right. to Janet, listening to Michael, listening to Teddy Riley, listening to Jam and Lewis, okay. and, you know, and just great songwriters and producers. Right. And let me write a good song that everybody can sing. Um, right. Don't make it too complicated, but make it feel like I'm just listening to a normal urban station um, without going to Sunday morning. I hear you, Claude. Right. All good. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so that that was that was the thing, and so I just kind of pulled my friends, their friends, the people they loved, and we just kind of showed up at a choir rehearsal, and it just yeah. I sat at the piano, and I just started teaching parts. So who did you record with, or who did that first recording? Oh, well, you mean the first, like, Good Time? Yeah. yeah. Good the very first, yeah. Brian Peters, um, he was a fan. He was a fan of our music. He would, you know, That's we were kind of a... Uh -oh, and we got, got a little... Deal. Oh, there you go. Do you hear uh -huh. me? Uh, we were yeah, famous in L.A. before we got a deal, so we were just singing everywhere, and he was a fan. Brian was a fan. And he said, one day I'm going to be able to sign y'all and be able to do big things with you, you know? And, you know, in California, wow. in California, L.A., a lot of people say stuff like that. So, you know, I was just kind of like, okay, great. You know, maybe right, 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 maybe right. one day. And so he came together and, and pulled his resources together. And we did, he said, go to this producer's house in the Valley. I want you guys to start working together. I walk in. It was a white dude. And I was like, oh, <laughs> am I at the right house? He was like, yeah, I'm <laughs> like, sure. We go over to the piano. I start giving him some ideas. He start playing me a track, and it was the track of "You Guys Hear Good Time." It was like, a, and it was yeah. um, it was an old Isley Isley Brothers sample, and I was like, "That's dope!" And I just right. started writing to it, and then we came up with the hook. You know, I, I'm a hook guy. Got to be a good hook. Right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta yeah. have a good hook. So, good time. All right. Sunshine, lay your burden down. Let me see you smile. Hey, you know, just hey, you know, right, it right, just right, had to right, feel right. good for everybody to sing it. But I wanted to be very urban. I wanted to be played on urban radio. That's that was my intent. I did not realize that there was a that people were going to have a problem with that. I didn't know. Right. I, I just just wanted to do the music, you know. Yeah, and now and look, so, you got Kanye and Snoop, honey, and it made everybody. Right. <laughs> Lamar Campbell just Lynn, came on. Lynn and, and Lynn Woods and Judy. I love Lamar Neal. Campbell. Hey, hey, Lamar, hey. We got to have Lamar on. Lamar, call me so we can get you on. Let me tell you something. That songwriting fool right there. Yes, I said songwriting okay. fool. Yeah. That's right. That's, what's his big song? Um, Oh God. I love you, Jesus. Ooh. I worship and adore and you. Enjoy. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love, Lord, I love you. you more than anything. I want yes. you to know it's a staple. It's a staple. Oh, yeah. Well, it's on, my, oh, yeah. it's on my, my phone. Right. Oh, but when, still, when we sing that song in church at Faithful oh, Central, yeah, it's, it's, right. it's folks go in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. It's, it's the you. ultimate love song. It's yes. the ultimate love that's, song. You know what? That's true. Yeah. But, I want to go on a little bit um, to talk about some of the other barriers you've been breaking that people may not know about that I think yeah, they should yeah. know about. Okay, thank you. First of all, yeah, because I, I think people don't know enough about this and, and how great you are. And you just keep doing your thing. And uh, we want to talk about how you've had such longevity, too. But baby, what was it like? working with Childish Gambino, or what's his name, Glover? What, what's his Donald name? Glover, yeah, Donald Glover, yeah, uh, AKA Childish Gambino, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was great. I mean, it was, um, was creative freedom. It was creative freedom, Miss Vicky. It was like, Brent, I heard you're the one that really can get this sound that, I, that I'm looking for for these songs. And he just started playing me about five or six songs. And wow. he says, can you just put your thing on it? Here's some of my vocal ideas and my melody ideas. Can you now just embellish oh that? And oh, so really? I brought my singers in. Uh, uh, shout out to the A Squad in San Diego. Those are my peeps. Uh, and so I brought them together, just nine of them, just, just talented young people. And mm -hmm. we just kind of sat in the room and started vibing. And I said, listen, this is your part. This is your part. Now do this. Sometimes we would just start doing what we do as gospel singers and a vibe would yeah, start happening. Yeah, and he yeah. was like, yeah, yeah, do that, 
do that. Can we do that now? I don't want what I had. I want what you guys had. Where did this happen? Were you in uh, LA? This was, Atlanta? This, no, this was LA. We we did everything in in, in LA. Uh huh. And what? we did a we what I forget what studio we were at. Uh, somewhere in Hollywood. Um, one of those great studios in Hollywood. And we were just vibing, man. And uh, that was like the first record. Then he brought us back to do even more songs on the second record. And uh, it, it's yeah. just a freedom with him. It's just really a freedom. And he's wow. a, he, he loves great vibes, you know, just good yeah. vibes. And, and was so, he raised with your music? Or how did he know to go to Brent Jones? No, how did he it, know? I, I think it was a referral for a person that's really into gospel that can really get it done. Uh -huh. um, and then that, that just kind of came from his manager, um, uh, uh, Ludwig Gorenson, um, who did, you know, a Black yeah. Panther. When yeah. I saw that name, that yeah. man is the one who did the soundtrack. Soundtrack. Like, oh, no, yeah. he didn't. Right. I was shocked about that one. When I tell you humble, it. when I tell you humble, just mm -hmm. a sweet soul. You know, and he just it, and and so I would do something with the singers, and he and I would look at them. Is this okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can tell he's very classically trained. Is he oh, Swedish? Very. Yeah, yeah. He's from, I forget, but yeah, I think yes. I think it's Swedish. I think it is. Oh man. Yeah. I heard Black Panther soundtrack, and he did another big soundtrack. I can't remember. Um. Maybe somebody can tell us. I can't remember right now. I can't this, remember right now too. I mean that, but that is so amazing. That yeah, you got, yeah. This is people, people. You got to know this. Brent is in the background representing for us in a very important way because yeah. the, this stuff makes room for more of us. So if you don't know now, you know. Real talk. Okay? Real talk. So, yeah. We appreciate that. And then you went on to do the trolls. Yeah. Is, uh, well, uh, Ludwig brought me in for that too. He he brought us in, you know, based upon what we did with Donald and Tyler Gambino. He's like, look, I, I, this this is what you guys need to be on, and so, so I pulled the, the team. You're the go-to for them for faith based yeah, and all that. You're right. the go-to. Yeah, and, and you that's, came that's through for them. They don't second. go back to the well. No, that you came through for them. They don't go back to the well unless they know what they're going to get. That's what I think. That's what I think. And absolutely. I, it, that's right. It, absolutely. It, and it was a blessing because it was like, okay, you trust me now. You know, yes, I right. think we're proven, you know, we, yeah. you, we're we very quick in the studio. We get it done fast and we get it done powerfully. So yeah. I called the A squad again. I said, we're getting ready to do this move, this, this Trolls movie. And a lot of them have kids. So they're very familiar with oh, the yes, brand. Yes. Okay, um, and so we pulled it in and, you know, we met Justin Timberlake and uh, Ludwig wow. again. And, oh, yeah, um, right. and we did the song. Yeah, we did the song Sing. And, I, and so everybody was, you know, had they had parts. Everybody had sheet music and, you know, yeah. so we took the sheet music and then I embellished it. And I said, okay, now, you know, give me more vibe, grotto here, less here, straight tone there. So I started doing my, my production okay. thing and they yeah. just let me do it. That's yeah. what people yeah. need to know yeah. that Brent, it's not just about fooling around or knowing some beats. Right. Education, yes. reading music. Yeah, I think it's important. Drink. It's everything. But you know why? Because time is money mm -hmm. and money. Time. Right. And people have time to play around with people in the studio. Right. So right. So we're so right. proud of you, and we say thank yes. you to the, you for that. And I don't know if that, there were some. Other, these are the ones I've heard about. Who are right. a very great man and a dear, dear friend of mine yeah. here with now, James Robeson. Yes, James. Who oh, is my professor. Professor Dr. James. Robeson. That's what I call him. Yeah, I, I never call him James. <laughs> I just yeah, call him I, professor. I, <laughs> I, I, okay. But you know, uh, I, I told you a little bit about this, but Dr. Uh, Professor Robinson loves art, and so do I. So he That's will really send me things on the, like the latest Kehinde Wiley or uh, right. some of the other great new masters in he's art. Doing, but you know, he, he's the art guru now. <laughs> Oh, yes. yeah, he, well, he likes yeah. a different kind of art from he'll me. Change and, up his art and, and, well, yeah, he, he's yeah, a right. mid-century guy. He's well, definitely a mid-century yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm modern, but I but he's like out there like with a giant spoon. I, who's right. that artist that right. does those giant spoons? <laughs> like right. call he'll call me. Him. He'll call me. Brent, I brought a sculpture today for my kitchen. I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> But I, 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 you know, when I bought my home, I was like, okay, what do you think should go here? So he's like my, even my advisor for some decorating options, yeah. even in my own but home. Because he's an architect. Also, right. you got, these are the things I'm trying to tell you, how well-rounded 
faith-based folks are. Right. Just people that get up and jump up and do stuff. Uh, right. We're, we're doctors, lawyers, architects. We love, right. art, love so many things. And I love current events, honey. So I'm getting ready to <laughs> switch it up. Wow. <laughs> you are, well, get messy. Come on, big <laughs> get, get, get messy. Get messy. Listen, bring it Listen, up. Bring it up. Bring it up. I heard something today, even. Oh where an African student in the Ukraine was beat up and was not allowed to get home. And this is happening a lot. I want to know your views because I have some views. I, I am hurting for the U Ukrainian people, but child. Well, What's here's my thing. I went on Facebook the other day and I put a post. I said, am I supposed to stand with Ukraine? And I know that they're abusing our brothers and sisters with brown skin. And that's all I left it at. I said, yeah. I, I feel some kind of way about that. I, yeah. I you know we have we even have racism in this particular situation, you know, and so my thread on uh, Facebook was, you know, I uh, had a whole bunch of people chiming in. But I feel what I feel. Something about 50 makes me feel with, if I feel it, that's my heart. That's, I'm sticking to it. So, um, yeah, it's, it was like, uh, I, I have issue, you know, I have real yeah. issue. I don't even, I, I mean, I guess I could pray for you, but I'm not going to pray for racism. I'm not going to support, you mm -hmm. know, you abusing, you know, uh, our people because of the color right. of their skin. Uh, you right. Know? So and I'm, Right. They were yeah, saying it's it not me. the color, that it's Ukrainians. But some of those brown and black skinned people are mm. are Ukrainians, but mm. you're not checking passports. Right. You're checking the skin color. Right. That I, uh, issue, it's issue. Not. It's not messy. It's not messy. It's real. It's just real. <laughs> I, I'm like. But yeah, it, it's really a same shame that you are being, you know, persecuted and attacked. And you turn around and you flick the same thing on somebody else. On other people. In the midst so, of that, you're still being racist. Like right. You got to write a song about that. No, oh, you, okay. You don't, you don't pass that forward. You just go to the street. Right. You feel good, right. Right, right. right. Yeah, because then, everybody's coming to your end and say, hey, you shouldn't be treated that way. Why would you turn around and treat some other people? Right. Like, in the heart of, the, of the, all the pain. I mean, yeah, we're in the thick on. of it right now. And kid, children are being bombed in right. hospitals. Right. And, and you're checking for skin color? What? Yeah, I, know what we should, I know we should pray. So y'all don't tell me just pray. There's, we got to let them know that this is not all right. Not all right. Yeah, and so I don't know. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's, it started really bothering me because I'm thinking, if things get crazy here, mm -hmm. where, where am I going to go? Right. That, That's do, real. Do people not love black folks anywhere? Or is there so much oppression that... Right. Well, 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 I don't know. Right. And let's just face it. The last two two years, last three years, we have seen some crazy. Oh, yes. 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 We have seen some crazy. I, know? I've seen crazy in a whole new way. And it's, right. it's, it, it's disturbing to me. It's very okay. disturbing. You know, I like messy, so I'm going to get even messy. <laughs> That's what messy. <laughs> Let's get in there. I got some messier stuff for real. <laughs> I don't like ugly messy, you know what I mean? Right. But I like fun messy. So okay, good. This is the new the, the other messy I'm thinking about. What you thinking? Oprah and Gail said they do not want to be called auntie as they get older. And some folks don't want to be called uncle. Uh what say you, sir? Well I got a whole slew of folk who were calling me Uncle B and Uncle Brent. At first, when it happened, I was like, uncle? Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Because I don't have brothers and sisters. So, you know, the whole <laughs> uncle thing is just like a new okay. thing. But let me tell you, it's a term of endearment. I believe it's a term of respect. And yes. I receive it. You know what I'm saying? I, I receive it. You can see me there. Oh, what's up? <laughs> you, know, you, see, you, know, you, you know, you see me as uncle. You know, I, I um, mentor. Uh, a group of kids where I call the fire. They're all teenagers. And they all call me Uncle B. They all call me Uncle Brent, Uncle B. And so, I, you know, a lot of these young musicians or even young artists that refer to me as uncle, it's a term of endearment. I receive yes. it. I, I love Oprah and Gail. I want them to don't don't take offense to the word auntie. There's nothing wrong with the word auntie. 
Uh, I, I believe in our culture, it's a, a term of endearment. It's a term of love and respect and, and reverence. And so yeah. I, I, I receive it. You know, I receive it. I, you know, I don't like that. young kids calling me by my first name. I'm, I'm a little old yeah. school. You know, so don't call me Brent and you're, and you're, you're 12 years old and you call me Brent. No, you call me either Uncle B or you call me right. Uncle Brent or Mr. Yeah. Brent. I mean, but you just don't, we not the homies. You know what I'm saying? We not the homies. Like that. That so, you know, and yeah. I don't like it either. I'm like, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that, boo. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't, you're not a teenager and you call me Brent. You just walk into me, yo, what's up, Brent? No, no. Yeah, no, no. Oh, gosh, I couldn't it's, deal with that at all. No, no, you can call me uncle. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. If you gotta call me something, call me right. auntie because You're right. You know, because I just had a big birthday, honey. Right. Um, well, you know, uh, they call hey, it's hey. like with Charlie Wilson. You know, they call they he refers to himself as Uncle Charlie because he's the uncle yes. to a lot of you know uh, my age group and younger, and we revere him. Yeah. You know, he is That's the right. goal. He's still the goal. He's still right. killing it on right. on stage. You know, I'm oh, about to come. And, he's coming here with New Edition and and, and Jodeci. When I tell you, I no, have no, already no, bought where? my ticket. Where? In, in Vegas? No, he's coming to Los Angeles Los on Angeles. March 20th with New Edition and Jodeci. Miss Vicky, oh. it is the I, ticket I, to have. That's right around. That's right. You around. can call me Vicky. Oh. Miss Vicky. But call Miss Vicky. you can call me Vicky. Okay, but you know, I, you know, but I revere you. I revere you because of what you've done in this industry. Okay, Google Miss Vicky MacLaughlin, y'all, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know, if you knew the gospel, okay, she's the reason for gospel. Just, just Google her. Okay, don't, don't trip, don't trip. I'm gonna try to some tickets to that concert. Have you ever seen? Have you seen him lately? Oh God, yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Before COVID. In the middle, every concert. Yeah, yeah. And now to see New Edition and go to see. It's like uh, going to be R&B, old school heaven for me. Yeah. That's it's right. Because be Jodeci can, well, because their fathers were pastors, I think. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Casey I mean, and JoJo and all that Devontae yeah. songwriting and all those chords that we do in gospel. That's all it was. Yes. It was gospel music with Thank saying you. baby. That's all Thank it was. Thank you. That's all that, it was. Oh, all those guys, I say, went to the Conservatory of Music uh -huh. called the church. That's right. 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 Free of charge, a Thursday night choir rehearsal, they called it. Free of right. charge. Yeah. And, and you learn you learn tone, ear training, right. harmony, That's melody, stage right. presence, all for free at the Thursday night choir rehearsal. That's right. That's right. No, that's so true. Uh -huh. And I mean, I even hear Mary J. Blige and mm -hmm. I was hearing little Donnie McClurkin in there with that song and all mm -hmm. that. But now they're just straight out with people like uh my I call them my rock stars, Kanye and right. uh because God says the rocks will cry out. So right, right. right. Come on. That's, yeah. <laughs> so that's how we got our, our rock stars. <laughs> but, uh, so tell me, yeah. uh, now, I gotta talk real quick, you guys, about we wanted Brent's wife, Shelly, gorgeous Miss Shelly, to come on, but she had had she has had um, oral so, oh, surgery, so right. she couldn't come on. But I want people to know also what a great duo you are, right. and um, Shelly is the one who got me understanding this whole thing about hair weaves and black women entre entrepreneurs in the hair game. Oh yeah. Okay. And, I get you can tell us a little bit about it because you guys are partners and everything you do. Oh, right, 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 right. Here, I is, want you to talk. She is such a guru and she has such a passion for women's hair and not just the healthy part of it, but you know, she wants women to be fly. She she is really yeah. into women to be fly and the whole yeah. wig game. I've just I've been forced to kind of learn it, you know, and yeah. what's happening and stuff even with COVID, how she was able to just pivot and 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 kind of do her thing and make her own uh wigs to you know uh, uh for to, for women to to have even to look good during covid and when i tell you these women oh, are buying wigs during we're buying wigs during covid like i i was like you've got to be kidding me but shelly has developed her own hair care line it's a moisturizer that's second to none um, and okay. it's uh, Hair Works International is her okay. uh, IG and her, uh, you can go Shelly Jones on Facebook, but on IG is Hair Works International and it's Hair Works okay. I-N-T-L, okay? Okay. And so so I she, she has, so I know Miss Vicky, you talked about you want to do some natural things with natural hair. 
Um, this yes. moisturizer is amazing. It is amazing. Okay. We just kind of tested it out with friends and family, and they're going crazy okay. already reordering. Already reordering. Okay, well, so. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order some because I'm about okay. to pour, I'm into I'm into That's my cool. own That's hair. Um, yeah. But she, when she told me she went to India. Oh, no. She goes to China. She goes to, she doesn't just go by what's going on here in America. She goes and meets manufacturers. She goes and meets the scientists and chemists to put them all together. And I get scared for her sometimes because a lot of times I can't travel with her, which, but I, but she knows she cannot travel by herself. So, he'll, so all, she always has a, like a, an assistant or, you know, someone okay. go with her. And so um, her last trip to China right before COVID, um, she spent a whole week there meeting all the manufacturers, many, meeting some chemists there who, who, make it, who are making some of these products. And she comes home with this wealth of knowledge. Uh, and, you know, Shelly's beautiful. And she, yeah, uh, she is but beautiful. she's beautiful on the outside, but she's beautiful on the inside. And so uh, women are taken to just her spirit, you know, just yes. how she comes across. Yes. She, she makes women feel special. And that's nothing yeah. contrived. It's just something that's in her. That's what she does. That's who she is. That, yeah. She's the pastor of hair. <laughs> yes, yes, oh, how I love that. <laughs> but she just opened my eyes up to something that I really wasn't thinking about before. And she was telling me about going to the temples and me. I'm like, this woman is amazing. Yeah, she's so into inside beauty first before outside beauty. You know, she and helps she a lot of women with her outside thing, but while she's helping them with their with their outside, she is really digging into that that inside, and and Somebody, women are finding out, wow, it really starts on the inside. It really, really yeah. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they were they're saying that's her superpower. She is. I just can't. Yeah. Wait to get, get <laughs> it really her. is. Twenty twenty nine years of marriage next month. Oh, well, congratulations! congratulations. <laughs> that is amazing. She still that's loves me. I don't know why sometimes, but she yeah. still does. Well, you know, you, me, you huh? learn more and more. <laughs> Tell Claude, I'm glad I stayed around for the ride because there was a couple of times where I thought I was going to jump off. <laughs> That's what Shelly says all the time. All the time she's saying that, but, right? But you know, yeah, it's, it's this month is your anniversary? Uh, April the 18th. April the 18th. Okay, uh, so we'll have to look that one online and really celebrate with you. Yeah. Uh, so that is great. But so I'm going to get even deeper in the mess. Let's go. Deeper in the mess. You have a song called, well, it's about living your best life called mm -hmm. Enjoy Your Life. I'm not going to play any of it now because, you know, Instagram and stuff, they want to charge you for everything. Oh, my God. But yeah. yeah. I got that feeling mm -hmm. that, you know, if you tell us, just tell us about that song. And Well, it, it, <laughs> since we, this is the part of the, the Vicky mess. Okay. <laughs> let, let's go there. So in the midst of everything that goes on with this man named Robert Kelly, I am still a huge fan of Robert yeah. Kelly's musical genius. So yeah. Enjoy Your Life is a step in the name of love vibe. Uh, it's a romantic, sexy song about I'm a Christian, but that's not all I am. Um, I'm a husband. I love to go to the beach. I love to go to the club and dance with my wife and have a good yeah. time and step, you know, step, you know, is that, that whole, you know, we just, yeah. in Cali, we do the cha-cha, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, but it's, it's that whole vibe. And so there's a line in the song where it talks about, I'll have a drink, but no intoxication. And so uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It, it's, you know, uh -oh. you say what you want about drinking and what have you. I don't believe that anybody needs to be drunk, but if, as a person of faith, you want to go to a restaurant and go out and have a social drink. There's nothing wrong with that. And so in the song, it's talking about enjoy your life. I, I the, the first verse is I enjoy preaching, uh, 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 talking about Jesus. I love singing gospel songs because they got meaning. But don't uh, uh, don't just put me in a box because I'm a Christian. There's so much more to me than my religion, right. you know? Yes. And, and yeah. so uh, it talks, so we talk in the second verse, it talks about going to skate, you know, skating. Yeah. And then it talks about me hanging out with the homies and we having a little drink, but no intoxication. Enjoy right. your life, enjoy right. your life, you right. know? And so I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> I'm actually gonna finish a EP this year because my new record is coming out and we'll talk about that right. in a minute, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do a, du a duo release, if you will, yeah. of yes. some good Sunday morning Brent, but I'm going to give you a, a EP of about five or six songs that I'm working on right now. Um, 
enjoy your life because it's the Saturday night version of me. It it feels very TP mobbish. <laughs> it feels very you know, TP mobbish. Um, and I'm really excited about it. We literally we're working on it right now. So I'm I'm gonna send it to you first because you're the guru. You still have the ears, ma'am. You still I, have the ears. I believe I believe I have some ears. Oh my goodness, please. Yeah. <laughs> believing you know but you know you know, you know brent you know they call jesus a wine bigger right so, so i'm just saying <laughs> somebody asked said, me one time they said well if jesus was was there would you would you have right around him i said yes and i would offer him some right 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 and, and some yeah. people were very, very upset with me you and i know you yeah in fine dining now you got to be careful with it but in fine dining, they will pair it with the wine. Right. I do have to be careful because I got a, a glass and a half limit. Or <laughs> so, you know, you gotta know what your, you gotta know what your limit is. Right. But well, it's nice to pair. Shelly cooks. <laughs> Shelly cooks with wine a lot in our house. You know, oh, okay. a good prime rib and a wine, and she'll base it, yeah. and you know, all this stuff that she does. Ooh, yes. But yeah, I mean, come on, people. You know, there are things that about Christianity I refuse to be bound in. Um, I, I'm, I've always been a free spirit, very liberal, and I will continue to be that. You know, I, I love God. I love his, our relationship. And um, I'm not bound by some of the, the things that traditional, you know, uh, thinkers may have. You know, so me yeah. going out having a drink or me going out dancing to some Charlie Wilson, a new edition, I'll be there. And my tickets yeah. are expensive. And so I'll be kind of toward the front. So look for me. And trust oh, me, yeah. I will not be doing I will not be doing the church Sunday morning shout. I will be getting it in. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> the time for everything and i just love yeah, you true. talking about that when yeah, i so got true. saved saved i you you couldn't have reached me with traditional music right right i would have to listen to something mm -hmm. like the uh, because okay. i didn't understand right the other i do now and right sometimes i really need that right but right overall I came from something different. So I really appreciate that. Now we've got, I don't know if you know this young man, but I'm working with a young man that comes out of LaCrae's camp called 1K View. And oh, he yeah, is yeah, straight yeah. up hip hop. Oh yeah, I'm very familiar. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. yes, he is wonderful. And yeah. I think that's the beauty of faith-based music. It's not a sound. Right. It's, it's a lyrical concept. Yeah, it shouldn't be a sound because if it's, if if it was just limited to a sound, uh, right. we, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be counted in certain genres, you know. And I I believe yes. it's a message. The sound is whatever your taste may be, and I oh, believe beautiful. that we need to have many tastes, you know. I, as much yeah. as I love uh, 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 R and B and hip hop, I also love um, the Carpenters. I also love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like I, me, they long to be. Yeah, they close long to, to be, you. baby, close to you. Was I, Paul, I mean, was that I, Paul um, Williams or close to you? Or close the, to other the Carpenters? One? That was Carp the, the Carpenters. The Carpenters, but Paul Williams wrote well, one. You, we've only just begun. Oh right? yeah, yeah, that was Paul yeah. Williams. That was Paul Williams. Um, yeah. But you remember the Eagles, country and western, the Eagles, yes. old school. Absolutely. One of these nights, and and oh my God, th those songs are just—it's great yes. songwriting, yes. yo. Yes. It's yes. great yes. songwriting. So yes. I, I'm really into that. Yeah, so it's yeah. not a sound. That's great. That's, That's great. right. And they say, and I got to play more of it for my grandson. I did with my daughters. I started them off with classical music yeah. when they were very young because they said, if you get them addicted to a beat, beat only, then they're not going to be able to appreciate jazz. Melody. Music. Melody. They're mm -hmm. not going to be able to do like you did and mm -hmm. go into a studio with a Goinson. And mm -hmm. yeah, is that how you say his name, Goinson? And yeah. understand what he's talking about. Right. So, Musically, I encourage you to um, really make sure your children have an ear for melody. For all, yes, mm -hmm. and for classical as well as mm -hmm. jazz. Because it's all talent. It's all given. They're all gifts of God. Amen. So we just have to appreciate yeah. them for what they are. Right. You know, as old the, the older I get, I guess the less, uh, the more flexible I am in terms of what I what I think it's all about. Right. Yeah. And, and I end up throwing out a lot of stuff that I used to think oh, was Christian is about this and about that. And, and right. then as old as I get you. I, this ain't about that. It ain't about this, you know. These are the things this is really about. And so uh, yeah. and I, I think it's 
it's it's a lot freer. I think you know you have a stronger walk when you kind of know what it is. Now. Right. Thank you yeah. for you know. Yeah, well, it, thank you for even saying that, uh, Claude, because you know a lot of times when as you get older you get stuck. So I appreciate the fact mm -hmm. that you're still open and you're still flexible and your ears are still you know uh, relevant. You know, yeah. I, I really appreciate that coming from you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have to say very simply quickly, and I'll and I let Vicky go on. When, when I first got saved, uh -huh. uh, salvation was very complicated to me, and God was simple. Right. 40 years later, uh -huh. <laughs> salvation is simple. God right. is complicated. Right. <laughs> God is deep. He's right, God deep. is really deep. It's right. all around. So right, that's right. the only way we say that. And do you remember Jesus from Aquarius? Yes, <laughs> I do. He say, hum an evil note. You can't wow. do it. You can't do it. Because it was created by God. You cannot hum it. There's no such thing. Goodness, yes. I love that. Well, you know, my music songwriting is very simple. I like writing simple hooks that um, you know, for a Sunday morning that a big mass choir can sing or a very smaller choir that's not yes. as talented can sing. I like, uh, you know, just simple melody that you can catch. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't wait till midnight. Yeah. It's just a catchy I thing. I, I'm very pop-minded when it comes to melody. I don't yes. want it to be so... Um, and I used to feel some kind of way because I felt like Sir Richard Smallwood and Kirk Carr you know, they wrote oh. such profound, they wrote yeah, such profound classic. lyrics and profound, all the chords and the changes. Yeah. And then God said, yeah, that's good for them, you know, but right. it's okay for you to write your little triad chord changes, triad <laughs> meaning, you know, right. the three note changes and, and, right. and write mm -hmm. those simple little nursery rhyme melodies that yeah. people seem to like, you know. That works. Um, and so here I am, you know, years later, still writing those melodies and, Miss Vicky and Claude, they, they still are booking your boy to come and do these little simple songs. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. And this is, I think, why you have... They stick. That Don't Wait Till Midnight. Sometimes, sometimes I, I really... I go back to that song because I'm in a place. Right, right. And I need that, and I love yeah. that thing where you say you love me, but you only call me when you want something. Basically, I'm paraphrasing. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's if God was throwing. If God was throwing shade, that's what he would say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you, only, you, only, you only call me when you want something, though. But you right, say right. You love me. right, right. <laughs> that that line gets me every time. But um, I'm gonna go back fun again for a minute. Okay. You're talking about you and your longevity and right. uh, keeping up with things and doing things that are fun. Mm -hmm. Well, my new fun thing, everybody knows who listens, is fragrance, honey. Well, man, she's oh, a wow. And I, I've got, are you ready for this? I got a daytime fragrance. Uh-oh. And I got a fragrance I wear to go to bed. Oh, wow. Oh, Mr. Yes, Clyde. Uh, Mr. Clyde, Clyde, you got it Every going night. on, sir. It's all scripture. <laughs> Every oh. night. <laughs> I serve him with a different fragrance every night. Every night, every night, and then, and then, every night. <laughs> and that's my new thing, you know, keep reinventing and doing. Yeah, he seems to appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, right. every day. <laughs> right. you, well, you know what? I think, I think I'm going to start doing I love fragrance, too. Let me tell you who got me into fragrance. My dad, <laughs> God rest his soul, he passed in 19, in 2019. Okay. And he would have his dresser lined with all of the new fragrances. He spent money on wow. his fragrances. And so oh, yeah. you know, as, a, as a teenager growing up, I would go in and, you know, and sneak some, you know? Right. Um, and so, and his thing is cleanliness is next to godliness. Yes. He's got to not only be clean, but you got to smell good. I mean, he cleans. Yeah, right. right. You right. got to smell good. And so um, I'm wearing Prada right now. It's a new fragrance by Prada. Um, What's it called? It, it's called Prada. Okay, just okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Prada. That yeah. candy? That's not Prada candy. That's something new. I don't know about the new one. Yeah, I, I think it's just Prada. You want me to go get Probably it? Probably is Prada Loam or something like that. You want me to go get it? You can if you want to. Can, 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 can you get it back? Because I'm gonna tell people. Okay. In the meantime, well, I, this is some of the stuff I've learned about fragrances. Okay. You need to exfoliate. So I've been exfoliating, making sure I get all the dead skin off. And then you have to really moisturize. So I'm using the stuff called Eucerin. 
And then I put an oil on top of that. And then I put on my fragrance. And um, too complicated for me. So I just <laughs> I just put it on. So that's uh And he, he has a really great smell, so he can he can do I'm that. Flexible that way. Yeah, I'm you're flexible that way. that way. I'm a person. I, I really need all the help that I can get. If but you know that what cracks me up, you know, are these different names. Yeah. We talked about that a little bit. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. All more. right. <laughs> okay. All okay, right. Show us, show us what you got. What you got? What you got? So it's Prada. Oh, oh okay. Okay. I, okay, that's right. And Sorry. it's called uh, hold on. Ocean. Oh, oh yeah, I don't mm -hmm. worry about that one. Prada yeah, Ocean. One. So okay. you know my favorite place in the world is be to be at the beach. So Ocean. my mother in law uh got this for me for Christmas and she said her Uber driver had it on and she almost jumped him. So I figured, <laughs> you know. You know so I'll see that. And, I, you know, I don't want men to think I'm t being pressured, but I'm like, you yeah, got to tell me what you've got on because I need my husband to try. <laughs> right. Oh, shit, you know, because I have, uh, I got one from Vicky. It's from uh, Les Elixir. Les Elixir. And it's called Aqua. I love that one. What, what else you got? It's called Aqua. It's by a new house called Lays Elixir oh. that came about during uh, COVID. Yeah. It's oh, okay. Aqua, so it's, it's kind of... It's so it's interesting. interesting. Some of these... Like, yeah. What I like is very different. Some of these businesses, there. like, I would have never thought that wigs would have been so big during the pandemic, but I guess that makes sense. This What's is that? my this is my wife's hair care line. This is oh, called oh, yeah, R, RLC Spray. And oh, I like oh, that package. Yeah, and so this you, uh, it moisturizes it, and she's getting a lot of guys calling in for their beards. You know, for the uh, beard, you can uh, use uh, this yeah, on their yeah, beards, yeah, yeah. and, and it, it detangles. It's a, this thing like crazy detangles. You know, obviously uh, I don't need anything for me, yeah, right, but right, uh, right, yeah, you know. for those of well, you, yeah, my husband's got his. Okay, so we're going. Where can you get it? Where can you get it? Tell us what um, get. babe, what is the uh, what is the website that you can get this off of? Babe, what's the website? She's gonna tell us. Okay, she we'll put it down below. She'll put it, yeah, yeah, she'll put it in, yeah, she'll we'll put put it in the comments or something. Yeah. We'll put it in, 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 in the She's gonna put it in the chat. She's gonna put it in the chat. Okay. okay, great. And then we're getting ready to close, but before we do, mm -hmm. I wanna talk real quick about your foundation. Or your your kids, you young people that you're working with. It's called Fire, I think. Mm -hmm. It's called the Fire. Um, a group okay, let's of talk about that and the new project. And when okay, we get so these kids are kids that I were, was able to meet in the LA area, and mm -hmm. I the whole thing is let me teach you how to be an artist. It's like an artist development program okay. where I'm taking these these creatives and these singers, and I'm teaching them how to sing, of course, teaching them you know vocals. And these kids are already talented, so yeah. it is up to me just to bring it out of them now. Yeah. And so dancing, so a lot of choreography. We, I, I'm actually in, got them in the studio recording an album with them. So uh, a lot oh. of them have, they have their own songs, you know. And so I'm so excited to show the world what these 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds can really do. I mean, it's it's amazing. And so um, I'm really proud of that because I think it's important as we get to be uncles and aunties yes. <laughs> yeah. that we yeah. keep on pouring in to our young people. And, yeah. and pouring in the music, pouring in melody. But I'm, I'm glad that you're a rapper. I'm glad that you love trap and all that. But we got to keep our black boys and black girls singing. They have to know how to sing because I get a lot of requests for singers for Broadway. Because, you know, I do theater, you know, uh, singers yeah. for different things that are coming up even in the city of, of Los Angeles, you know. And okay. they, want, they want young singers. And so not young people, people you punch it in. This is it's not punching. Uh this is real singing. Real right? singing. You have to do it on the stage and you have to be you, you know, you gotta yes. be able to project. You can't just do it on your phone and, and be lit right. on IG. No, you you gotta be able to do it on the stage. And so this is what we're teaching in the fire. Right. Um so it's uh in the midst of everything that I'm doing. Sometime if you'd like. I, I'd love to share if, if you want me to come. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna bring the project to you and I you know, okay. I, I would love uh, uh, Vicky. I want to work with you musically. Oh, we don't get to do it. Really? Really? You know what I'm saying? So, and, 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 and then with, you know, Professor James, as well, I, I just think the synergy would be crazy. But anyway, and so the new song, because I got my cross color shirt on. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. The, 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 the new song 
is me doing what I did with T.P. Miles. You know how we combine Isley Brothers with the, we're going to have a good time. Everything will be all right. Well, the new song is more Sunday morning. Okay. But we we kind of borrow from, you remember the group High Five from Waco, Absolutely. Texas? Absolutely. Remember the song, The Kissing Game? The I'm Kissing not... Game? I like the way oh, you... Yes. Right? Remember that? Yes. So we yes. kind of borrow a vibe from that. Okay. And we the song is called Nothing Else Matters. It's a another feel-good sopranos altos and tenors feel good song that okay. anybody can sing whether you got 150 people in the choir stand or just 15 people in the choir stand okay. um it feels good and we need feel good right now we need feel good right now so oh my god do we need feel good right now put it in the chat Amen. <laughs> so, Amen. I got a little yes, bit going. oh you got it So the vamp says, Miss Vicky, the vamp says, instead of complaining, I dare you to praise him. I don't care who's looking at me. That's right. I heard that in there. I don't, yeah. And that's where I am right now. I don't care who's <laughs> looking at me. I do right. not care. Right. Mm -mm. And they right. got this song, um, The Storm. The Storm is going to pass where everybody starts dancing on, on this song. I know the storm. And, and they just, they do, the, the, uh, they do this dance. little holy dance on Instagram what, what, about oh. the storm is passing on. But these people, they get to dancing on it, and they don't care who's looking. And that's the way I feel. Let me tell you something. Yesterday, I was just not where I wanted to be. Right. I started, I was at, I think we were in front of a bank. We were. We, we have this little private fancy bank we go to. Right, right. I got right up in front of that bank and started praising them and doing my holy dance. And this I, is the time. I didn't care. It's such the time now. You can't, you, you can't even care. I mean, it, it, the two it's years that we have gone through as a musical back. community, it, yes. you, you, you got to get over some of these preconceived things that you think what people That's look right. at you and That's all that right. kind of stuff. Who? Well, because right. it doesn't matter because they don't have a hell or heaven to put you in. They're not yeah. writing a check to you. And we're That's still right. trying to impress people who don't give a dog on about us. Yeah. No, right. you know, it's got, your praise now needs to mature. You can't be praising right. for the people that are looking at you in the soprano section, the alto section. Please. It's got to be to a place now where you don't care who's looking. It's got to yeah. be to a place. Well, they're imposing rules and regulations on you that they can't keep themselves. That's right. So right. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming to your church. I'm coming that to your they church. They can't keep themselves. <laughs> That oh Jesus, that was that was pretty strong. Somebody gave the name of the song. It's called "The Storm Is Passing On." Over or on? Oh, the storm is passing over. Yes, yes, yeah. That's the song. Old song. Encourage my soul was the name of the original song. Encourage my soul and let us journey on. 
For okay. the night is long and I am far from home. Thanks be to God, the, the morning light appears. The storm is passing over. Oh, they're, 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 they're going. Going. Storm. Yeah, right. Oh, I love it. But yeah, anyway, yeah. we've got, been going a few minutes. How when, how, and when can we get this new song? Yeah, honey, it coming out? We need it and every choir needs to be singing it. Well, this I'm so excited that you're interviewing me today because it comes out March the 25th. March the 25th, you, all streaming platforms, every streaming platform. I learned this week by, you know, getting my stuff ready. I learned that there are some, there's two streaming platforms that I've never even heard of. <laughs> what, what's Have name? you heard of Deezer? Yeah, yes. Deezer, yes. Uh -huh. uh, who knew? Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> uh, and there's another one. Uh, is it Deezer or Deezer? Anyway, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, there's, there's about six or seven. Yeah, right. So, cool. yeah. So every streaming platform and then... Uh, so you and then not only do you get the song, but you get the video, and it's me and my singers, and oh. we all got on cross colors, '90s hip hop, and it's dope. Oh, oh it is God. dope. And now yeah, wait okay. to see this. Okay, <laughs> keep promoting that. Okay. And um, I, I gotta tell you, now you there's another new one you might think about. Okay. And that's this NFTs. You might have to make what non fungible <laughs> whatever they call it. What is that? What is what is the acronym? What does the NFT mean? What is that? Fungible tokens. Okay, and, and it's it art, means, right? Pardon me? It's some kind of an art, electronic art, digital it's art. Anything. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an it's a item that represents something that's not du duplicatable. So it's that's what it means by non fungible. So it's, you can't duplicate it. It's it's yeah, fixed. you can't. Yeah. So they use it for art because art is one of a kind. So yeah. you could make put it in a NFT. Um, a lot of people, are, some people are doing it with music. So yeah, music, so you can get a special how, piece of music. And you put a lot of different only, pieces with yeah. it so that people buy not just the, the they, this is the only way they can get it. So you might, yeah. so you are just like a piece of art where you might have a limited edition of like, like you know, like a thousand, yeah, a thousand, thousand or whatever. Bit, yeah. Okay, but with the music, you just basically have a song or an album even, and there's a limited edition. There's wow. only 100,000 of these. That's and it. That's it. Nobody else can get I mean, them. No, somebody nowhere. made like 40 million dollars. Snoop just with his first thing well, on Death Row did an with well, an he, NFT. But he did a lot more. Did what he did, he had some other stuff with it where you can get invitations to the mansion for parties. So they put a lot of other stuff made that a whole bunch that of you money can't in get minutes. normally. And so they package it up so that mm -hmm. people buy all you know will buy this and they have access to it. And Kanye's done it too. So that's something. Yeah. Come on, Barry, you're breaking now. We well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that the Enjoy Your Life thing maybe could do that. Yeah, I'm so going to investigate and talk more. NFTs, right? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, so, it's, yeah. it's something to, as we're getting into it and learning more. Say, for example, you did that, mm -hmm. but you had Childish Gambino with you just on this, and you could only get it. Oh, okay. Right. Like right, that. Right. It's okay. just a special thing. Okay. So, special and, thing. and you could do that. And there's so, so many copies. That you can get, nobody else can get. And it can't copies. be duplicated. So, right, 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 right. So it's almost like when DJs back in the day would do a mix, and you only heard it on the radio. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> it was yeah, so that's dope. What, that's right. That's yeah. right. Or like with artwork, like I've got, we've got a limited edition. Well, we've got a number, but we've got one done by um, who's the trumpet player that uh, that was married to Cicely Tyson? Come on, you guys, help me. Um, um, Miles, 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 Miles Davis. Miles Davis. Yeah, I'm sorry, Miles, 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 Miles Davis. He <laughs> used to paint to keep from taking drugs, and he'd have really small editions <laughs> of like a hundred and fifty in the edition, and we have one of those. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, he's a great artist. And they keep and he's art keeps um, going up in value. So that's right, of another course. Yeah, project. yeah, appreciated. Yeah. Great. And anyway, those are some great ideas. Yes, and thank you. Thank you. I'll cash up you later. I'll cash up. Okay. You later. <laughs> and um, so, tell us. Okay, so March twenty fifth. March twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. Okay. With, uh, song and album. And how do we and talk? No, it's the song. It's the, it'll be the song and the video. The album won't be <laughs> out until album won't be out probably until my birthday week or some May May something. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pull out. And it's another. It's 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 an extension of open your mouth and say something. In that they're good Sunday morning choir songs that people are going right. to enjoy singing. You know, okay. um, yeah. Some okay. more of that. That's cool. That's Excellent. cool. Well, we love you. We gotta have your wife on because I oh, really yeah. want to 
talk about Man, she was the, the, about the wig journey and the, oh, and the oh, you oh, know, all that stuff yeah, too. She'll go deep with you. She'll go deep with you. I know. <laughs> I really want to. Yeah, so thank you. I want to say hi to Judy Neal's. Yeah, I, I see she can her help there. Me a little bit, I think. No, I don't know about that. But <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been able to help her husband like that. So I don't think there's only so much a person can do. Right. Thank it's you a, to everybody that that uh, you know that that signed in. That's really dope. I I, yeah, I can't yeah. see all the little writing, but I appreciate everybody that came on. I think my best friend, Dr. Marty Sellers, is on here. Um, I think uh, Darius is on here. I'm I'm actually writing the TP Mob story. Gonna produce the TP Mob Ooh. story and oh, do it uh, do it on stage. Uh, yeah. oh, I think yeah. enough. So we're working on I some things and. Uh, yeah, this uh, right. one of the TP Mob members who was uh, uh, been with TP Mob forever, his son has written the the script and he uh, right. he was there. He said, "Brent, I, he has a degree from Howard University in theater." He says, "He says, uncle, oh. there's that uncle thing." He says, "Uncle, let me yeah, write the yeah. script because I was there. I know what happened." So yeah, I'm really wow. excited to show everybody well, this on stage. Fine with his phone again. So, so. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> but he says he's got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. But anyway, we want to thank you so much. We thank you guys. Talking. I'm on. Oh, I need to. Good. I need to let you guys know that I'm honored to be talking to two of the people that are the two of the most influential gurus in the gospel music community <laughs> are you two. Okay, oh, yeah. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they say. You two are responsible for some of the biggest moments in gospel music history. And so I honor you, auntie you. and uncle. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be really seeing you again soon. Thank, you. Thank you. you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Song and video. And we'll put a reminder out. Great. Too. Nothing else matters is what it's called. Nothing yep. Okay, nothing else matters. But Thank you guys you. get messed up. Okay. Right. Thanks so much. Thank bye you bye. guys. Okay. Bye. God bless. Love you today. Okay. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. What's thank up? you so much for watching Carfiddle yes, Talks. Thank you. Please remember to press that like button and we need you to subscribe and also leave some comments. We really need to hear from you. Thank you.